Well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite Tasmanian tiger. Fluffy! I should have known I'd find you here. You're always terrorizing somebody. A girl's gotta earn a living. When are you gonna give it up? You know you can do better than Cass. You really think so? I know so. He's mean, arrogant, selfish, conceited, and a bully. Yeah, but the money's good. Sick and patchy. No fair. Let that little orange rat get you down.
Well, I certainly didn't expect that to happen. Well played, rat. You won this one. But next time, you won't be so lucky. Good work, Ty. You stopped Fluffy and Cass from terrorizing the kind folk of Steel Springs. That bird brain Cass will stop it. Nothing to hinder us. Oi! Watch who you call a bird brain, fur face. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sure he meant it as a compliment. Boss Cass has such a large cranium, it's obviously a sign of great intelligence. <clears throat> oh, good save there, Dennis. Now that that's out of the way, I've got some more jobs for you, mate. No worries. Ah, oh, Fluffy, you're back. Did you get it? It wasn't easy. But here it is. It's smaller than I imagined. Mmm, you have the grid processor. Very good. Ah, Professor Carlos. I got what you wanted. Now, can I see a demonstration of the machine? Mmm, it is feasible. Activate! The machine! Ouch. That's gotta hurt. What just happened? It appears that I still need one more component. Whatever you need, get it. I want the machine fully operational as soon as possible. And then I will have the power to rule not just Cassopolis, but the entire world! <laughs> Ah, Bruno's gotten himself into a pickle. He went climbing in Frillneck Forest but got stuck. Now he needs a helping hand. 